Alamaria Falls. Maybe you've heard of it. Part of the North Bay. So there's a local legend about this waterfall. They say that at this waterfall is haunted. <laughs> they call it the two wraiths of the waterfalls. So where did these wraiths come from? They're actually a couple Native American brothers. You see, back in the settler days, when the white settlers were coming across the land, of course, they were looking to get rid of all the natives in the area. And these two brothers, they sold out their families, their tribes. They sold it all out, their future, everything. What did they sell it out for? What was their price? Alcohol and prostitutes. Sad, sad. Well, they were disgraced, obviously. And they say that after their death, these two Native Americans returned to this waterfall, to Alamir Falls. And they say that they haunt the waterfalls to this day. As a matter of fact, they say if you're anywhere near the mist of the waterfalls alone, these brothers will try to pour water down your throat. They will try to drown you. And they say those that are brave enough to put their feet into the pools at the base of the waterfall, well, these two brothers will both attack you and they will try to hold your head under the water and drown you. Hmm. Spooky stuff. Challenge accepted, brothers. Challenge accepted. Good morning, folks. Today, we're going to the legendary Alamir Falls over in the Bay Area. Had a little bit of a drive. What time is it, Derek? I have no idea. We had it 6.51 in the morning. A little early for you, huh, boy? It's 6.50. Oh, thank you for correcting me. A little early for you, though, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we've been up for a while. We're heading to the coast. This fall is awesome, supposedly. If we uh, get there in time, we'll actually be able to see it. You gotta, you gotta reach it by low tide. And supposedly today it's about 11 o'clock, it's low tide. Um, it's about a three hour drive to get there. And uh, it's one of three waterfalls in the United States that falls directly into the ocean. Oh, this is gonna be cool to see. So Derek, good talk to you, boy. About the legend of uh, Alamir Falls. The about the uh, two Indians. Two Indians, what? Well, like I told you about them, uh, legend is that there are two brothers that sold out their tribe to the white man for some alcohol and some women. And now the legend is that these Indians, if you feel the spray from the waterfall, they'll try to choke you. If you go in the water itself, They'll actually try to hold your head under water. So, you wanna go swimming? Well, they're ghosts, so you can do that if you want. I don't know if it's gonna do anything. You know, they died a long time ago, you know? Yeah. <laughs> what do you know? Another road that's not big. <laughs> So there's about three different trails for getting to Alamir Falls. Probably more, but there's three well-known trails. And we're going to be starting ours at Palamarin Beach Trail. So it's 5.5 miles to Wildcat Camp. 
where you need reservations to camp there. And then from there, it's about another mile hike down the beach to get to the legendary Alamir Falls. You should get some people in your videos, like some of your viewers. Hey, uh, Dad, do you want to just walk through the mud? No. Oh. Yes. <laughs> Let's just go right there. Despite the beautiful scenery all around, sometimes on a long hike, you just gotta take your mind off of, uh, off of just walking, 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 you know? So I got me this little karambit and just start flipping it around. It's basically a fidget spinner for adults. Who knew that you could find such beauty next to such a major metropolitan area as the San Francisco Bay Area? The sights here are just absolutely breathtaking. We picked great days to go on this hike. We just had a storm a couple days ago, and the skies today were really crispy blue. The air was real salty fresh. And the vegetation was emerald green. <laughs> it's a banana, banana, banana. It's a banana, it's a banana, banana. It's a banana, it's a banana, 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 banana. Cypress trees, man, they sure grow weird, don't they? So many branches, awesome-looking trees. A little parkour action here. Don't want to get our feet wet. Let's go. Here's the shortcut, supposedly. See, it's overgrown with poison oak, ticks, falling cliffs. I think it's just because it's a non-park sanctioned trail. But that's the shortcut, supposedly. Mole, 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 mole. Hello, sir. Derek found the body buried down there. See. Either he's trying to shake your hand or he's giving you a thumbs up, one or the other. Wait, does it look like yours too? Oh, yeah. Yeah, let's sit down. So here we are, trying out some MREs. What kind of MREs we got, Derek? You got some crackers there? We got menu number one, chili with beans. Yummy. And Derek, what'd you think of the MRI so far? Good. What's, what have you been eating on? The little combos, cuts of combos. Yeah, those look tasty. Yep. Next we're gonna try some cheese spread. 
on our crackers. Anybody that's been in the army knows about cheese fed and crackers. <laughs> Check this out. Derek is eating chili and beans. Yummy, yummy. Yeah, should eat this. How is it? <laughs> <laughs> We've had to cross these cliffs to get up into the falls. Then we had to cross a river to get to the beach. We braved poison oak. We had to walk for miles on the beach. To find the beach out in the falls. Now that was a that was a hike. What do you think, Derek? Yeah. That was a long ways in. It was cool. It was worth it. I like that waterfall. What do you think? Uh, I like hot dogs. You heard it here yourself. He likes hot dogs. Banana slugs for the win. Or banana slugs. It just depends on the day. What what do you rate this hike as? For professional hikers, pretty high, but for noobs, you're not going to make it. <laughs> Don't be a noob. <laughs>